Hi, um, so today I'm going to show you how to use the gaming toolkit that comes pre-installed when installing Remix OS. Now, this gaming toolkit is a key mapping tool for, um, well, it's a key mapping tool. Now, for us to open it, we go to our My Apps on our menu, and this is, this is it, gaming toolkit. We open that, and it should show up on the right corner of your screen. Now, this is, this is it. Now this is this is what you see the first time you open it, and um, this are the 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 touch events that we are gonna use. Now we'll start with this one. Okay. Now once you click on it, now this thing will show up. The circle will show up, and you you can drag this, and you can drop it to um whichever part of the screen you'd want it, you'd you'd want it dropped. For example, I'm gonna drop it on um recall there and then um say because because the default is h now we can change that by clicking it there clicking it wait wait for it till it blinks and we can we can press whatever key on our keyboard keyboard we want to use so for this i'm going to use the left arrow key there now i'm going to use i'm going to add two more this would be for the down arrow key and this is for the right arrow key well, my um, Ruby's there playing as AI now. So, well, I'm going to save that. And say, um, say, for example, I want to use Recall. I just have to press the left arrow key on my keyboard. And it's going to do Recall. Another is this thing over here. Now, if you click that, now this would show up. And the use of this would be the... the um, well, it, it's used for, for navigating, you know, to to move your um, hero from moving forward, backward, or left or right. Now, let's save that and see what's going to happen. Now, if I press on W, it's going to move forward. If I press A, it's going to move um, left. D would, would move it right. And S would move it um, downwards. So, that's um, that's it. But for some reason, with this um, specific game, Mobile Legends, you don't really need this. You can just remove this, save it, and just use W to move forward, A to move um, left, D to move right, and S to move um, to move down or um, south. Um, hmm, what else? So yeah, that's it. Now um, you, you can you can. I'm not sure how many buttons you can use um, with this one. But we, we, we can, let's, let's try to complete this. I'm going to use the keypad number 4 or numpad number 4. It's going to use 5 over there. Um, it's not doing anything. I think it's lag or let's save it. Hmm. Well, it, it, it stopped, but... Do, do, do. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, well, let's do it again. So we click on it. It's not doing anything there. We'll, get, we'll click that. I'm gonna give this to keypad four. It's gonna be keypad five. It's gonna be keypad six. Oops, there. Keypad six. And I'm gonna say this would be keypad one. It's my basic attack. I'm going to put this here. 5. I'm going to use 8 for this. I'm going to use that too. And I'm going to use tab. So again, um, Ruby's on AI. So, being idle. Um, this would be B for bag or bag or buy or whatever. Um, this is, let's say, Q for attack. This is going to be R for lead. This is G for gather and C for chat. Now let's save that and I'm gonna press eight. It should right. See it work. Now um what's what's wrong with this? Uh, or it's it's not actually wrong, but the problem with this is this is here, right? So if, if I press G, which is gather it would actually open up the menu. So let's do that again, G, C. And if I press C for chat, same thing, right? 
Now, what's good about it is that with this, you can you can actually click and hold it and drag it and you know place it to whatever part of the screen you want to place it, which does not interfere any other buttons. So yeah, I guess that's it. Now, again, with this, you don't need to add the the this navigation um, um event. You you just have to use your keyboard W A S and D. And again, for the rest, we already have added it. Well, I'm gonna add some of the skills here to you know to. If you level up, you 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 can increase the skill level. So at least it would be automatic. There. And another is here. You know when you can buy that's gonna be there. Nine. So when you buy items, you know there is one over here and another over here. It's going to be minus and plus there. So yeah, that's it. Now you go ahead and play with it, and um, yeah, uh, I'm going to test it on, my, on uh, with with Ruby and see what's going to happen. So I guess um, it went well. Um, the only problem is, um, for example, we use this skill, right? I'm, I'm, I'm using my mouse to click it or to click and hold it. Now, if you use your mouse, you can you can, you can can choose whichever direction it um, the skill should go to, right? But if you use your keypad, um, I'm using, so again, I'm using um, number four there, uh, number four. Now, if I press and hold number four, you 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 won't have an option to to change the direction, so I guess I, I'm sorry. I guess that's um what's what's problem with sort of battery low. Um, what's problem with just using the keypad? Um, there. So yeah, now um that's it. That's uh that's how to use the gaming gaming toolkit. Um, which again it it it's it's free. It's uh, you don't need to download it once you install Remix OS. It's it's there. Um, yeah. So that's it. Now I hope it helped. And yeah, happy gaming.